under cabinet lighting, take one. So, so everybody of the internet who totally cares about what I'm doing in my house, here is the, um, the first try, which was semi-successful with uh, some under cabinet LED lighting. Now it is actually very bright. If I unplug it, yep, that's without, and that is with it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tell you some of the things I tried and how they horribly failed. So, I don't know if you're going to tell because the lights are very bright. It's a toothpick there. And there's toothpicks holding these lights up all throughout. Or, I should probably say there was toothpicks holding these up all throughout. A lot of them have fallen off, such as this one right here. So basically what I did is I just used hot glue, cut the toothpicks in half, and hot glued them up. I have a feeling the underside of this cabinet tree is too smooth and the hot glue just didn't have anything to really stick to. So in a lot of places it's fallen down. You can see over here we have the mighty toothpick which it won't focus on because there's nothing there. The toothpick kind of just floating hanging off of a very thin thread of hot glue. Um, so my next idea is to take popsicle sticks drill small holes through them, drill small holes up into the underside of the cabinet and screw them in place and uh, hopefully that'll be a little more secure and uh, this next time around what I'll do is I'll actually have it in place and I guess mount where I'm putting them I mounted all of these spots where I was going to glue the toothpicks on before I had the tape up and I realized the toothpick sometimes would be right where an LED was so I had to create slack in the line which of course looks less than professional but uh, yeah, the, the funnest part, the most fun part, was doing these junctions in this corner piece here. You can tell this one actually stuck together pretty good. I've got two toothpicks there and they're holding it fine. And then I've got these long lengths of wire soldered together alternating colors because that's just the way the polarity had to run. Uh, the next time I do this, I will end up cutting these wires much shorter and not having that hang down because that does kind of detract from the overall look of it because when you're like back here with the exception of fat string that fell down you don't really see the lights too much I mean there are a few right there that you can see but other than that it's pretty much all hidden underneath the cabinets and then you see this ugly loop and that one was visible too when that piece was up which unfortunately it fell and actually we can see a long stretch right there we're just not seeing the light facing towards us so it doesn't show up so bright on the camera but uh yeah that is the first try this took way too long because the toothpicks kept falling down and I kept re-gluing them up currently it is just plugged into the wall outlet here and then there's just an adapter for the plug to this little doodad which literally just takes the plug and makes it to those two wires it doesn't do any power transforming or anything that's all in the wall socket or not the wall but in that brick in the future I will have this hooked up to my home automation system so it'll just turn on when it's dark and uh, it's actually it's really nice when it is dark out this illuminates the kitchen pretty well uh, that's all I have currently it will eventually be underneath these counters or uh, cabinets I'll probably put one in the front here and then I'm thinking maybe two on the underside of them that's over the sink so I have plenty of under sink lighting above sink lighting I why would you want under sink lighting that wouldn't even make sense like so people could marvel at your glorious plumbing and bleach and buckets that would just be silly well guys thanks for watching I'm sure you were just thrilled to death to know that I'm still doing DIY stuff um, no tutorial video because this was an epic fail. I'll probably do a slightly more in-depth building when I do it with the popsicle sticks because I think that's going to work a lot better. I just hoped this would work because it was so easy and then it turned out to be a pain in the butt.
But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.